Good to go. Good to go. How's it going, everybody? This is Nate Swanner with Android Authority. I'm here with my friend Peter Schmitz, How's it going? who is a glass explorer and has forgotten this is a developers conference. He's <laughs> a little overdressed. So, Peter, uh, why don't you tell us about what got you into glass? What, yeah. What made you? Uh, what, what got you interested in the program? Okay. So, I mean, obviously, the excitement last year at I/O is my third one. Um, so, just seeing the applications that they utilized last year, you know, in very much the sports world of diving out of a blimp, you know, doing the BMX on top of the roof. It's you know, I think that was something to very much send up some, some fireworks and create that excitement around it. So after that, you know, we, we all rushed outside. There's a big, long kind of booth over there of, all right, if you're interested in grass, you know, obviously everyone is. Um, come over and, and check it out. And we basically had to fill out these surveys. So it asked you kind of what industry you're in, what you were looking to develop glass on. And then based on those answers, it said, Thanks for your interest. You know, we'll get in contact when you're ready. Or here is your Glass Explorer number. We got these glass laser etched kind of cubes. Right. Um, and then, yeah, basically we're told in the next year we're going to be sending out order forms. It's going to be about fifteen hundred dollars, and we're excited to have you. You know, there's, there's infinite applications, and I'm just, as you mentioned, you know, one of two thousand explorers, all with their own ideas, all with their own sets of dreams and hopes, and and I'm just, you know, I feel privileged and I feel very honored to be a part of that program and, and included. So. But what excites you about developing for Glass? I think it's just the whole concept of, you know, as Larry mentioned during his keynote yesterday, creating a place where you can just start testing and not have to worry about boundaries. I think Glass has obviously a lot of feedback right now around it, whether it's positive or negative, whether people have used it or not, whether they're in the tech industry or out. And I think just being able to be a part of such a um, supportive community, you know, the glass people that work here, Sarah Price, Timothy Jordan, Steve Lee, Isabel, the main designer, I mean, they're all here to help us and, and they need our help in turn, right? I mean, we're the ones making the apps besides the major labels and, you know, the thing that I'm most excited to develop on is just, as with all applications that I'm working on right now, I'm just excited for someone to have that light bulb moment when they use my app. You know, being able to kind of see that smile when they do just have to look up and ask for an ingredient, you know, transition or a change to ounces to cups. Or they look in their fridge and they can just be looking at things, listing them off, kind of peering around. And when they get those recipes, be like, oh, I didn't even think I could make that. Um, and yeah, I think just those aha moments with any new platform is just going through and, and seeing people use your product, you know, getting the feedback, working with them to, to help them. I mean, that's what apps are here to do, right? Fun. This is the app on the phone. Not yep. what you're seeing on Glass. Not what I'm seeing on Glass. That okay. is correct. Okay. Um, this is also similar to the interface that is their HTML5 portal online. So it has these cards. It has them all laid out. Um, so as you can see, it has you know, device info where it lists your current version, your battery level, et cetera, et cetera. As you scroll down, you have your device location, awesome feature. You start scrolling through your 10 contacts. Oh, sorry about that. So you can pick 10 contacts that you can initiate communications with. You can respond to anyone emailing or calling you, but to begin with, for the program, you basically get a circle of 10 friends that you can, I can hang out with from the glass. I can, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, those are listed there. As you scroll down, there are the different apps that are available. So the standard ones of Google's offerings, but just this morning, they launched Evernote, Facebook, Tumblr, CNN, L, Twitter. Um, and then one of the local companies here is Icebreaker, which is a pretty cool app. So if anyone's out there with Glass and you haven't seen that, look them up. It's a way to meet other Glass explorers. Um, OK, so good? you're seeing what you're seeing. Yeah, so, so let me activate it again. So right now, you're seeing the time, the standard uh, card. As I swipe through backwards, this whole part of the side of the head is a touch screen, or not touch screen, touch pad. Um, it works best when you tap kind of near your temple in the middle, but again, the whole thing is. So right now, it's the weather. You know, I can change where I am. It's geolocation, or I can look up one. Going again, it lists some of our my Google Now cards. So let me kind of get it in my view here. So again, the, this part of the glass is all adjustable horizontally to kind of see both edges of the screen. And then you adjust the nose pads for height. We will, uh, oh, there you go. So I'll turn guest mode on. And now as we get back to, so swiping down is basically the back button. Uh, forward and back scroll through cards. A double finger touch is instant Google search. And then as you'll see, when we click on things, that's basically like the OK button or you're going, want to go to the next screen. So 
We can kind of scroll through different pictures. We can play a video. Um, right now, you guys won't be able to hear it as it's that bone trans. Right. Yeah, the, I forget what it's called bone off the top of my head. Yeah, bone conduction. Um, and then, yeah, you can kind of see what a text message looks like. The times are always displayed in that bottom right corner. And then again, just any kind of Google searches you guys are doing. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's kind of where we can go from there. You can quickly uh, on Glass, like kind of scroll through and look at a bunch of cards at once. Okay, Glass, take a picture. You'll see this square instantly come from the center outwards. And we're so used to interacting with technology that's available right now, like viewfinders. So <laughs> the first couple of days, I'll admit it's kind of embarrassing. I kept, every time I took a picture, like trying to line it up like it's a <laughs> viewfinder. And it would kept taking all these pictures down. I was like, okay, so where do I put the glass in relation, do I want to do it? Do I pick like a five foot distance? What's interesting is so anytime you want to take a picture, glass will take a picture from what you see. It's really meant to say, okay, glass, take a picture. And for me to just look at you and not even pay attention. Um, and then you go back through later and you review those pictures. And again, it's very much your point of view, what you're seeing, what you're working on. Um, and so, yeah, it's kind of an exciting thing to, to realize that now it's, it's shifting a very much built-in habit of us from what exists right now to where this is trying to take us. Okay, Glass, Google, how do I say where is the library in Chinese? So this will actually list the local language, the phonetic pronunciation, then the English, then what type of Chinese is being displayed. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's that in itself, uh, so I speak Thai and Italian, and I've, I've done a lot of business over in Southeast Asia, and, and just being able to, because over there is a new currency, language, people, culture, food, every more or less what states are to us there, being able to translate and eventually, you know, probably translate on the fly is such a powerful, powerful tool. So would you mind if uh, we tried it on? Oh, I would reaction? be offended if you didn't. Okay. <laughs> Go for it. So. I do have the feature that knows when it's on ahead or not. So as Nate was holding it in his hands, it was off saving battery power. And now that he has it on his head, it'll activate and recognize that it's being used. Um, again, thoughtful picture. So if you want to look straight up and then down, it'll activate the screen and then you can go from there. Okay. Well, thank you for meeting with us. Oh, of um, course. My pleasure. First impressions of glass are it's actually pretty cool. Um, didn't expect it to be this kind of cool. So uh, <laughs> now that Peter has effectively given me his glass, I think it's time to sign off. So <laughs> thanks, everyone. <laughs>